Mary, uh, I'd love to know your initial response when you found out that it was a new story and that it was kind of centered around Ramona more than Scott even. So you get to revisit this beloved character and take her on a, a new journey and learn so much more about her. It was really amazing. I think um, when I first heard about the idea, it was very vague, you know, that, that we were going to do an anime version of Scott Pilgrim. And I think I, like everybody else, was just so excited and happy to be a part of it. Um, I didn't really expect um, that there would be this whole new side of Ramona that we'd get to see or that it would focus on Ramona. I didn't, I didn't have those expectations at all. I just kind of wanted to be a part of it. Um, because it was such a special experience for all of us. And, and it just felt like such a great opportunity to kind of get to do something together again, even if we were all in different places. Um, and I think it didn't really hit me until I was recording it, kind of how much more it was centered on Ramona um, and how much that would kind of affect me and how much that would mean to me. It was an incredibly special thing to be in the recording booth exploring her further and getting to kind of bring all these different shades of her out um it was it was a really special journey for me to go on and I was really grateful to Ben David and and Brian um for for writing those scenes and giving me the opportunity to do that it was um yeah it was it was deeply special for me and Ellen, you know, Knives is such a pure character. What did you like most about revisiting that sense of a teenager that's very much experiencing so much uh, for the first time and so much is new for her? I mean, it brought me back to a time where, you know, I was going through that too. I mean, we've all been there, that sort of teenage angsty period in our lives where everything just feels so fresh and you just feel like you want to get everything right. Um, but except this time I got to revisit her with the wisdom of my um, age. And so I, I just, I just had so much more empathy <laughs> and I loved her so, so much more in a way that like, you know, 10 years ago when I played her, I think I also had that nervousness that she had. Whereas this time I was like, I got you girl, <laughs> you know? Um, but it was really interesting, you know, going back to her voice um, was something I actually had to work on because I felt like every time I would say her lines, I was like, she sounds too old. Like she sounds like, she's got more years on her I gotta lighten her up a little bit and so it took a little time to go to that younger place and I feel just so happy with how much she's grown to and how she gets to flourish in this series and we get to see her kind of find her own path that doesn't involve Scott <laughs> yeah it's great she and it comes into her own yeah for sure and, and Mary the first episode features a lot of very familiar scenes how was it going back and recording you know a lot of those same scenes but with slightly altered dialogue like I almost had to feel like a little bit off-putting I would imagine because you know you lived those experiences and now you're trying to do a, a slightly different version of them uh you know I think I went into it sort of thinking well I guess I guess they want me to just do what I did in the film you know vocally I sort of thought okay, I'm gonna have to just sort of remember exactly what I did and, and replicate it because there's so many scenes that are really the same or almost the same. And Ben David and Brian were really great because they kind of allowed me to let that go. They were sort of like, don't worry about it. I mean, of course you're still Ramona and that needs to be there, but, but, but I got to kind of play the scenes how they felt to me in that moment as well without sort of trying to be an exact carbon copy of, of what I did before. Um, so that was great because I got I got to come at it kind of knowing the journey that we were going to take Ramona on this time and the sides of her that we were going to get to see and explore and um, to be able to kind of have that and going back like Ellen was saying with the wisdom of of the age we're at now going back and playing those scenes um, with a little bit something deeper to bring to her um, uh, was was really fun to get to explore it um, with all of that knowledge behind it. 
And Evelyn, you talked about, you know, uh, Knives kind of growing beyond Scott, and we also get to see her artistic side really shown, which is some really fun moments in the show. What did you like most about the, just the evolution of Knives and getting to see this whole new arc for her that goes beyond the scope of uh, the original movie and the, the comic? I think it's an, it's amazing. And, you know, getting to see Knives grow into her own person uh, without Scott <laughs> is, is, is great. You know, she, she figures out, she's figuring out who she is. She's figuring out what she loves. She's figuring out what she's good at. And that's, and she's experimenting and trying new things and she's surprising herself. And that's all part of growing up. And, you know, she had her heart broken and sometimes the heartbreaks are, you know, those big down moments are where we find our, you know, truest um, destiny and passions. And, and I think that's sort of what Knives is going through. And it's really cool to see her flourish and to find the positive out of something that was hurting her so much and mary one of the elements that i liked the most about the show was getting to see more of ramona's backstory and it also kind of humanizes her exes more they go beyond more of a villain and we kind of see the you know the people they are what did you like most about just going into her past and learning so much about you know what informs her decision making uh you know that we see you know both in the in the film and then in this netflix series it was pretty emotional for me to get to explore that i think because um again like ellen was saying when we made the movie i think we all really identified with our characters in in a lot of ways we were at similar points in our lives and so Ramona feels very close to me in that way and very close to who I was in my 20s. And so um, to get to kind of look back at that version of Ramona as well as that version of myself and kind of bring up, you know, sort of emotional backstories and histories that kind of made her who she was at the time, which was maybe a bit guarded and um, maybe a bit, um, sad and 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 to kind of figure out what's behind that and to get to show that I think was really meaningful um because when we made the movie all of that is sort of unspoken uh so to get to speak to that um was was a really lovely thing to get to do and Ellen the the fan base is so passionate about Scott Pilgrim and the fact that this was a curveball and you know told this completely different story uh, how how has the reaction been because i've seen so much positivity and I, I feel like with some other fan bases they might be like oh this isn't the scott pilgrim that i i know and love but i've really seen an embracing for the new and loving that they were surprised and going on this journey so how's kind of the reaction that you've seen um similar reactions it's been a very open happy excited embracing sort of reaction for the series and it's just really cool that we get to explore each character in a much more nuanced and in-depth way that we don't really get to see in you know a two-hour movie um you know this is this is like you know, we get to see young Neil in a way that we've never seen him, you know, I, I'm like rooting for him, you know, and like you get to see all the, you know, all the evil exes, maybe they're not so evil after all, they're also going through shit, you know, it's like really cool that we're getting to see each character and their flaws and who and what makes them who they are and what makes them so revengeful and what makes them so, you know, angry or, you know, we're all kind of in this place of figuring out who we are. And I, that's what I love about Scott Pilgrim, the series. It's that all of these characters, you could kind of find yourself in any one of them. You know, there's that, I, find, I feel like my teenage self is in every one of, like late teenage, early 20s self is in, you know, a little, I got a little bit of all, every character in me, you know? And I think that's, that's why there's so much love um for the series this is so relatable all the characters are just so grounded even though it's such a fantastical crazy world and i'd love to get both of your thoughts and uh mary i'll have you go first but just the the cast in the movie was so incredible and we've seen everybody go on to do such interesting work 
since then and having everybody back has to be this real full circle moment because there has been enough time since the original movie for you know you to revisit these characters with fresh eyes like you said um so just what did it mean to have everybody just say yes to this and be so eager to come back because it had been you know I, I don't feel like uh a lot of huge stars would have uh, done like a smaller role in an animated thing, but everybody was so uh, happy and eager to contribute here. I think it just speaks to how much this experience meant to all of us making this film. It was a really rare and special thing to get to do and be a part of, and there's no other film like it, you know, and, and there's no other experience of making a film like it, I think, for, for any of us, whether we were on set for four months or a week or however long it was, I think everyone felt something that was like, this is special. Um, and so we all jumped at the opportunity to get to feel some of that energy again, to get to bring it back to life in some capacity. And we just love one another. I mean, uh, there's so many of this cast who I'm still so close with. Ellen, for example, is one of my best friends. And there's so many of the cast who I haven't seen in years, but I would still say I absolutely love them as people and as just talents. Like I have so much respect for all of them. So I think there's such an excitement for all of us to kind of get to work together again and explore this material together again. Um, and we've all kind of grown. And with that comes the wisdom of knowing being able to look back and go, oh, this was something that not very many people get to experience and having gratitude for that. That's beautifully put. And um, Ellen, uh, the Scott Pilgrim movie is just so quotable. Are there any lines that uh, people come up with you and say a lot of times? I think the biggest one is... <clears throat> chow down for me because obviously <laughs> <laughs> but bread makes you fat is a big one I don't know if you get that a lot Mary but I do I, I like do that's bread makes, just bread the makes you one fat. thing that just yeah. will not go away <laughs> I think you're right I think that's, that's the main thing like if I have to sign a quote on a you know if someone wants some something signed from Ramona the, the quote is usually bread makes you fat yeah yeah <laughs> Or that is so fun. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, Mary, my last question. Um, how was it voicing the future version of Ramona? Did you try to like change your performance any, or how was it doing that older, more wiser version of her? Um, well, it was interesting, you know, playing both a younger version of Ramona in terms of myself, you know trying to sort of reach back to being younger again. Um, and then in a way, future Ramona is closer to the age that I that I really am now. So I was able just to kind of drop down a bit more into where I am now being, you know, almost 40 at this point. Um, and just being a little bit more grounded, a little bit more tired <laughs> and, and kind of using that and bringing that to her a, a little bit. Um, but I, I didn't want to push it too far in, in any one direction because she's still Ramona. Um, and I like to think that, you know, um, the Ramona that I was in the film versus who I am now um, is, is far apart in, in a sort of subtle way vocally. So um, I tried to, to be subtle about it, but to bring a little bit of age and wisdom and groundedness to, to future Ramona.